morning everyone in today's video continuous test of this lg oled 55 inch bx 2020 lg tv i'm using this tv as a pc monitor 10 hours a day every single day let me see the hours of usage to do that i mean to go to the secret menu well it's not a secret it's a service menu sorry and the code is i think 0143 no it's not Zero three one. Um, I'm. I think it's zero four one three. Yeah. So uh, hours of usage in, is in the down left corner, which is five thousand two hundred and eighty hours of usage, which is a lot. Okay, let's do a test monitor test. And in order to do that, we will need to hit. Monitor test on Google. And that's the first one. Hit start. All right, I'm using a Samsung um, t uh, camera to record this, so the colors could be a little bit oversaturated because this camera oversaturated the image. It's me, a lot of reflections. White, I'm especially looking at the down of this of this GTV because I'm I never hide the taskbar, so uh, it's basically out there all the time. Red, you see, no distortion, no uh, burning. It's fantastic. Green, blue, uniformities. 25%, 50%, and 75%. Gradients, sharpness, viewing angles, gamma, and response time. I think I'm recording 60 frames. Per, no, no, that's not the 60 frames per second. That's 30, I think. So anyway, it's quite nice. And like you can see, everything works flawlessly. It's more than 5,000 hours of usage as a PC monitor and didn't fail. It's phenomenal. Let me show you my uh, settings. To do that, we need to hold the uh, settings menu uh, button. U usually in the game mode, well, mostly. Well, like always. <laughs> software update. Let's check the software that's the latest and greatest for the BX model. Let me show. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Sorry, I I just closed the menu. Nah, uh, okay. See, I'm in the uh, game mode. All the light is on fifty. It's uh, it's good for me. If you're in a brighter room, you could get a little bit more, like sixty or seventy. Well, it, just try it out. All rooms are different. For for me, this is a pretty dark room, so fifty is plenty enough. Contrast eighty five, brightness sixty three, sharpness forty two, color seventy five. In advance, have everything off, color gamma extended, gamma 2.2, and white balance is on warm one. Picture options, you see everything is off, black level is on auto, I don't know why it's auto, it should be changed. Uh, but let's do it later. Uh, what else? Additional settings. Eye comfort is off because it's it will get your image like yellowish. I don't like that. He HDMI deep color is on. Instead, game response is. I think it's off. Yeah, because um, I'm getting a pass through through the AV receiver, then on AV receiver, which won't let it uh, go. Through, well, it's not work. It's on. It's just simply not working through the AV receiver. Then on 3060 version, 3600. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. All the screen server, everything is on. This is always on screen shift. This is on, and level luminance is on high. As you can see, everything is works uh, flawlessly. I love this TV. It's uh, well, as a PC monitor, it's simply well, it's the shit, <laughs> it's the best. Thing I bought in 2020. 
Let me just hit color one more time. You can see colors are phenomenal. Contrast is insanely good. Uh, compared to the LCD TVs, which I have on the side, so you won't see them, but uh, yeah, there's no comparison. This is like... And, and it's also very affordable. It's, uh, it's a low-end uh, model, B-series. Uh, now the lowest one is A, I think. It's still the same... Uh, uh, pa a panel just uh, um, different components inside like processor and uh, stuff uh, as a PC monitor it is just breathtaking I love it that's all I have thanks for watching goodbye see you, see you next video